Thank you for watching this webcast. I hope that as an evaluator of North Carolina School Library Media Coordinators, you'll find that it benefits your practice. I'm Kathy Parker. I'm the School Library Media Consultant for the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction. This webcast will describe how to score the rubric, which is part of the evaluation instrument for School Library Media Coordinators. Let me start by reminding viewers that the resources for evaluating a School Library Media Coordinator's performance are housed on the North Carolina Educator Evaluation System Wiki, not home base. The web address for the Support Staff section of the NCEES Wiki is on the screen. In the School Library Media Coordinator section of the North Carolina Educator Evaluation System Wiki, you will find resources such as the fillable rubric for the evaluation process, as well as the user's guide, which contains detailed instructions for all steps in the process, including scoring the rubric. As an evaluator, you'll use the rubric and check descriptors that are observed during a lesson or an informal observation, or maybe as a result of review of artifacts, and if you're not able to mark any of the descriptors for an element, then the not demonstrated column is used. But in such a case, you must write a comment about the school library media coordinator's performance and include suggestions for improvement. Something to note about the rubric is that when using the rubric to record observations and evidences, you do not have to move from left to right on the rubric. For observations and evidences, the evaluator marks all performance descriptors that are observed or evident in any of the columns. In this example, you can also see that an evaluator has either observed through informal or formal observations or possibly through artifact evidences that this school library media coordinator has met some of the performance descriptors in each area. It's only for rating the elements that you have to move from left to right because a school library media coordinator cannot be considered accomplished for an element if he or she still has developing and proficient performance descriptors that he or she hasn't met. On the rubric, above the descriptors in the proficient, accomplished, and distinguished columns, you'll notice the word and. That is to indicate that when scoring each element, in order for a school library media coordinator to be considered proficient, he or she must have met all of the performance descriptors for developing and all of the performance descriptors for proficient. In order to be considered accomplished, a school library media coordinator must have met all of the descriptors for developing and those for proficient and those for accomplished, and so on for distinguished. Now let's take a look at some examples to help us score elements on the rubric. The rubric for school library media coordinators is scored like the teacher's rubric. As mentioned, when determining an element rating, the evaluator moves from left to right across the rubric. The school library media coordinator's rating for a particular element is then determined by the lowest rating for which all performance descriptors are marked and all descriptors below those are marked. So in this example, the school library media coordinator would be rated proficient because proficient is the lowest rating for which all descriptors are marked and all performance descriptors below that rating are marked. In this example, the school library media coordinator would earn a developing rating even though this school library media coordinator met some of the performance descriptors in proficient, accomplished, and distinguished because developing is the lowest rating for which all performance descriptors are marked. In this example for standard one, element C, the school library media coordinator would earn an accomplished rating because accomplished is the lowest rating for which all descriptors are marked and all of the performance descriptors below that rating are marked. 
In this process, each of the elements should be scored separately, and the individual element scores will determine the overall rating for the standard. Once each element on the rubric has been scored, each standard will then be designated an overall rating. Overall ratings of standards should be determined during the summary evaluation conference conducted at the end of the process. The ratings included on the required summary rating form should be jointly reviewed and agreed to by the school library media coordinator and evaluator during the summary evaluation conference. And something to note is that when a school library media coordinator is rated as developing or not demonstrated, the evaluator should strongly encourage the development of a goal to address the area or areas where proficiency has not been achieved. I hope that as the evaluator of school library media coordinators, you found that this webcast on scoring the rubric will benefit your practice. If at any time during the evaluation process you have a question or have a need for clarification, by all means feel free to contact me. My email address and phone number are on the screen. And thank you very much for watching this webcast.